26 years old and $34,000 in credit card debt. No idea what to do. Please help. LOL. This is like a little post from r slash personal finance on Reddit. Hi. I am extremely embarrassed to write this. Hey, don't be embarrassed. Just just be glad that you were willing to take like this first step into like improving your situation. I am in a very, very tough financial spot right now. I have about $34,381.67 in credit card debt spread across nine cards. Two of them have been closed by the creditors. I have listed all cards with balances plus monthly payments below. I have considered consolidations, bankruptcy, a debt management plan, which if I enrolled my payment to ACCC would be around $700 per month. And all of this debt was caused by a reckless spending habit and mental illness that I have now gotten under control. Hey, props to you. I haven't used any of these cards within the last month. I work 40 hours a week, making 15 to 46, like $15.46 per hour after taxes, insurance, etc. My take home is approximately 430 to 440-ish. I pay 1040 a month in rent, which I pay to my landlord weekly, so I give him $260 a week. No, I cannot find anything cheaper. I have tried, and it's the best I can get. I went through all of my subscriptions, which are canceled effective January, so as of January, none of them will be deducted. But I was paying $160 per month in streaming services and random subscriptions. They are now canceled. Hey, props to you, right? A lot of people are not willing to actually do something like that, so I got to clap for that. So card one. $8,520.49 closed by Discover, currently enrolled in payment plan at 9.99 APR with $128 per month payments. Card 2, $3,924.04 closed by Discover, currently enrolled in payment plan at 9.99 APR with a $60 per month payment plan. Card 3, $1,969.59 with a $61 per month payment plan. Card 4, $6,897.55. So this card is enrolled with Tally, so they make the monthly payments. I pay Tally $60 per month. Card 5, $5,660.52. I missed a payment, and my monthly payment is now at $929.52. We'll be using my Christmas bonus to make that payment this week. Oh. You're having to use your Christmas bonus to do this? Oh, that's so sad. Card 6, $2,054.00. And 16 cents. Minimum is $20. Card 7, $1,567. Minimum is $115. Card 8, $750.25, which is $28 minimum. And card 9, $3,037.55. And $102 is due monthly. Whew. So this is a pretty interesting thing. So as you can tell, the monthly payments greatly exceed what I have left over in a month. My credit is around 540. That is horrible. By the way, if you hear like a loud blah, 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 blah noise, that is a husky drinking water. I used to have zero debt and a 760 credit score, but four years later, this is everything I have racked up. I have looked into loans and clearly cannot get approved for anything. I have $150 in a savings account. 
I'm trying to get a new, better paying job or considering getting a second job. And in the meantime, can someone please explain what the best option I have right now? Other than increasing my income, which I am doing my best to try to do, which I hope you do. Realistically, I would like this to be paid off in two to three years, but it feels and sounds impossible. Well, I understand that it sounds and feels impossible, but the reality, right, is the biggest thing that this person is dealing with is, like they said, their income, right? Like their income is their biggest issue right now. And the reason why I say this is because they have so many minimum payments due from all these different cards that they're not even making enough money like to even cover their living expenses really, right? Like like they said, their monthly payments greatly exceed what they have left over in a month, right? And the big issue too, right, is that their credit score is also beyond crappy, like beyond crappy. So it's going to be very hard to do a lot of methods, but there's really two ways if I was this individual in this situation that I would go about doing this. One route is do everything in my power, like they said to increase my income as much as possible or pretty much very rarely sleep and pretty much survive on like energy drinks and coffee and work one like like an extra job like three jobs maybe do like uber eats uber right like whatever just to boost your income for a short amount of time to where you now have a surplus because the biggest issue is that they literally are in the red every single month. Now, the other route, which is going to be extremely difficult for this person to do because of their beyond crappy credit score, is to basically refinance, well, not really refinance, but basically transfer all of these balances onto one card where you don't have a minimum payment that you have 0% for like a year just so that you could have some surplus. The only problem with that is that that is really only a viable option if you are also going to go the route of increasing your income massively to pay down that amount because if you are hit with that massive monthly minimum payment by the end of it because you haven't made anything, like you haven't made any dents to that money, you're going to be facing a pretty big serious issue. So what I would do in this person's situation, right, because to be frank, they literally are in the negative. One, I would work any job that I can to just boost my income to try to get myself into a surplus while at the same time maybe going to like a local credit union talking to someone there person to person and ask them like hey I am in a pretty dire situation but I make reliable income and I'm making more money soon could we figure out a way where I transfer these loan amounts to you, to your institution, but I'm given like 12 months without interest. But you carry the whole loan, basically, right? Like a credit balance transfer in a sense. Which credit unions, even if you got bad credit, might be willing to do that just because they might want to help someone in their community. But again, that's like a very big if. And really, that's not even the ideal way to actually do it. The ideal way is to actually just pay the lowest balance. So for example, out of all his credit cards, right, the best route would actually be to pay off his card eight at $750.25 and then basically free up 
that minimum payment that he makes, right? Like, here's the thing. You pay your minimum monthly payment on all these cards, but then go from lowest to highest in balance and pay it off to free up the cash flow, right? But then also to actually feel even more motivated to actually keep paying down this amount. But again, the problem with this person's situation is that they are in the negative. They are literally drowning in their debt, which is an extremely scary situation. Right? 